At the same day that Nocta released NHL 965 Chromax Black, they also released another cooler for your SFF builds or something like small form factors. This right here is the Noctua's NHD9L Chromax Black and as you can see, looks kinda cute. It's smaller, it's compact, it has a nice fan here as well, PWM connection as per usual. And um, there's also a cool thing when we're talking about the AMD mounting mechanism because with the NHL 965 Chromax Black, we have the same thing here. So you have the offset of minus seven millimeters for your AMD socket, for AMD processors. And uh, of course I did benchmarks on both. So the standard zero millimeters and the minus seven millimeters. So let's break it down because we also have loads of uh, heat pipes here and the compact size definitely will make it easier for you guys to mount a air cooler inside your SFF build. So let's break it down. First, let's start with the accessory box. As per usual, it's a standard design when we're talking about uh, packaging and all the other stuff. We have the NARC 7 low, no low noise adapter. Then we have the NMSFC 15, which uh, are the clips for the second NFA9 fans. So you can add one more. Then you have the NTH1 thermal paste. And then you have the NMSMT2 screwdriver. For the CQ Firm 2 mounting system, you get everything that you need for your Intel socket and for your AMD and that's all there is to it when we're talking about the accessory. Of course you get that Noctua badge inside as well if you want to stick it on your PC. But when we're talking about the specs of the actual cooler, uh, this is what you can expect. So, the dimensions of the heatsink are 110 times 95 times 95 uh, socket compatibility uh, basically it covers AM5 and AM4 and all Intel sockets excluding of course 2066 and all the other 20XX and of course the Threadripper. Then we have NFA9 PWM fan. Maximum rotational speed is 2000 RPMs. Maximum rotational speed with the LNA is 1550 RPMs. Maximum airflow is 78.9 cubic meters per hour and the maximum airflow with the LNA is 62.6. .6. Maximum acoustical noise 22.8 decibels and with the LNA is 16.3. Mean time before failure 150,000 hours. And this is quite interesting. It has 100% compatibility with PCI Express cards and RAMs. And since you guys love the NHD9L, this is why they decided to go with the Chromax Black version, just to give you uh, more varieties when we're talking about the design. Of course, when we're talking about the coating here on the passive heat sink, on the heat pipes and everything else, it's done so precisely that you won't notice the difference when you take into consideration the standard silver one and when you take the black one because it's done so properly and so precise, let's put it this way, because as I already stated in a couple of videos, Noctua does everything by the book and tests everything out before they release a product. Now, when you take off the NFA9 fan, you have these two clips, as I already stated, you have these uh, clips additionally inside the box so you can add another one of these and it has rubber anti-vibration pads on each corner as per usual what you could expect PWM connection and we have seven blades here on the fan so this is what you get and this is what you can expect we have regular clips for the NFA9 and specifically for this uh, tower cooler and uh, it would be quite interesting to see the performance if we had one more fan but uh, Quite all right. When we're talking about material, we have copper base and heat pipes, aluminium cooling fins, and soldiered joint and nickel plating. Now, of course, you already know all the details if you've seen the review of the Noctua NHD9L, but I ran some tests uh, just to see with the offset and how does that compare to the regular benchmarks and to see if and how much benefit we get with that offset. So, here we go. This time I wanted to go a bit extreme since we are talking about a bigger cooler than the uh, L965 and I wanted to really push it to the limit. So I used AMD Ryzen 9 x 3 d in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition, 0 millimeters of uh, distance, so regular position of the cooler on the AMD uh, processor. We have 87 degrees on the CPU, 4700 MHz clock speed and well the GPU is irrelevant because it doesn't change in uh, any scenario. Now, in minus 7mm offset, it varied from 85 to 87 degrees Celsius. 
So it did kind of go up and down and both benchmarks were done in 30 minute uh, intervals. So you have to take that into consideration. Clock speed was the same 47,000, 4700 megahertz. But when we go into Cinebench and check out 10 consecutive tests uh, with a zero millimeter offset, we have 79 and it uh, actually stays at 79, eventually touches 80 and that's it. With the minus seven millimeter offset, it starts at 80, lowers down at 79, and last five tests finishes at 78 degrees. The clock speed in both benchmarks were the same, but what we got is a bit better scores with minus seven millimeter offset, which brings us to the point that it does perform better. Of course, as you can see in AIDA 64, it did get lower thermals. They stated in their specifications that offset with minus seven millimeters, it actually performs better, cools down the processor better by one to three degrees lower, which we actually did encounter, right? In uh, Cinebench, it did went one degrees lower and in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition, depending on the, well, let's say benchmark time, everything was done in 30 minutes, but those intervals where it went uh, upwards and downwards, I would say two degrees Celsius in average was the benefit of minus seven millimeters of offset. So I would say we have a quite cool cooler and we have it now in Chromax Black as well. So it kind of widens up uh, the possibility of other guys that aren't used to the standard Noctua colors and want something, well, let's say with a stealth design, minimalistic, clean, and yeah, there's that. I don't have to say anything else. You know that uh, Noctua always delivers on performance, quality, and uh, well, visual aspects, depending on who you ask, to be honest. I personally don't care because it's Noctua and uh, in their terms, I prefer performance more than visuals. And when you ask me, I wouldn't mind actually building a standard color scheme of Noctua for a build. So yeah, there's that. I actually have done it, so yeah, there's that. So guys, this is it. Uh, this was uh, Noctua's NHD9L Chromax Black with a NFA9 PWM fan in the middle of two heat sinks. Uh, you get additional two. You get additional two brackets uh, inside the accessory box to add additional fan if you desire to do so. And it really does do the job even on 7900X3D, which is a, a shocker, I would say. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, click the notification bell. And before you go, don't forget to check the link for the Noctua NHD9L Chromax Black. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.